Hey everyone, it's Scott with NewPortraitBiz.com and what I want to do in this short little video is show you how to remove an unwanted object. Now in this case, this was a shot of me and my wife and we were in uh, Porta Plata in the Dominican Republic and we had a great time. But uh, you know, this here, this shot was set up and I believe my daughter was taking the shot and no fault of hers, but um, you know, this palm tree was kind of, out of growing out of our head and that's kind of like rule number one, right? You, you usually don't want anything growing out of your head. Um, but it's no big deal because with this new uh, content aware where you can actually go through now and uh, basically just remove little objects like that real, real easy. I mean, before we could always clone it or we could take a chunk over here and slide it over and then blend it and all that stuff. But this new little... Uh, this new little trick that I learned, and I'm not even sure when it was introduced, but uh, I just recently uh, started using it. I knew of it, but I didn't really know, you know, how well it worked. But it works really well for little things like this. So let's just go ahead and uh, just select this here, the uh, palm tree, and then all you do is hit Shift and then Delete, and then you'll get this little fill box, and it says Content Aware, or you can say Pattern or Foreground Color, Background Color, Color black, gray, you know, whatever. We want uh, content aware. Then just go ahead and click OK. And as simple as that, it's going to disappear. Now you can just click here somewhere and you can see it's totally gone. Now you may want to zoom in on it and then you can just look around the edges and see if it left any type of square edge or anything like that that you might need to smooth out. But it does a really, really good job. Same thing over here. There's little buoys in my way here. I don't really like it. So I can just go here and then just go shift delete and boom it's gone all right now another cool little trick while I'm at it let me just step back here um, that you can do for something like that as well is you can use the patch tool and if you go right here under the uh, spot healing brush and the healing brush and all that stuff just go to patch tool and then if you just make a selection around it and then just drag it off to an area that looks like the area like you want it to look like and then just let go, you can do almost the same thing. All right, but the content aware is so quick and easy. I mean, uh, I did want, I have one other picture that I, um, well, let me actually get rid of that while I'm here again. So you, again, you just take the rectangular tool or any selection tool for that matter, and then just shift delete, content aware box, and then hit okay, and then just deselect it and you're good to go. Um, I do have another image, I just, I just pulled this one up because it was, uh, just kind of interesting to see how this would work. This has a lot of different stuff going on and uh, I tested it out and it worked pretty good. So if I just go here and select it and you got to play around with sometimes how much you select but I found that if you bring it in close enough but giving it some room it does a pretty good job. So I'm just going to go there and then shift delete content aware hit OK and it's going to kind of guess and see how to fill that in. And you can use your own judgment of whether it did a good job and you know it looks like it would uh, pass or you might want to redo it again. And that's pretty good. I mean, look at it. It filled in all the rocks. It you know, gave a little bit of a hump to the wall. But you know what? It's kind of messy anyway, the wall. So who's to say that that wasn't going up there? But it's blended really, really well. So if I back off of that, you can see that's how it was and that's how it is. See? So that's pretty cool. So I, just a, a little little trick for you because I think that you could use it, especially in little situations like this, to get rid of something behind someone's head if there was a clear shot like that or even a buoy out here or anything like that. All right, so um, use it, have fun with it. And um, again, if you have any questions, you can always uh, leave a comment below or you can email me. Uh, if you're one of our subscribers, you can just go to newportraitbiz.com. You can sign up to be one of our subscribers and you'll get more videos like this. Or if you're watching this on YouTube, you can just uh, subscribe to our channel which is right above this video as well. All right, so that's it. I'll talk to you later. Bye.